Congratulations, Bob, on 20 years of being in business in the outdoor hunting industry. You know, looking back, uh, I got a lot of fond memories from both being a part of, uh, watching from afar, and then just being silently off to the side. Uh, several things, you know, that stand out. The, the first time I met you uh, at Point Malay, you were working the wing feather booth over there. From there, you know, there were a lot of, uh, a lot of miles uh, traveling from show to show, Burlington, Peoria, all them. And all the fun we had in between the late nights in the parking lot, solving all the world problems. All those late night phone conversations we had about uh, the industry and how to, how to make things work. I remember helping out with some of the original product drawings when you were looking at uh, utilizing a different CNC operator. Uh, the Jack Miner project when we, you did the, uh, the commemorative call and then the, the video for it. And I came over and helped out and produced the, uh, filmed and produced the DVD for you and um, put it all together and gave you the DVD master, but I forgot one important thing and that was to proof the DVD master and it turned out that only half of it got stuck on the DVD. You went and produced uh, or had them made and they were all wrong. We had to hurry up and rush to do that. And I guess that wasn't one of my finer moments, but I learned a valuable lesson there uh, in, in taking care of business and, and making sure everything's done right. Then there was all the hunts that we did early on for the for the Follow Pursuit uh, DVD series, the collaborative hunts, and a lot of those took place up at D Roy's, and um, most of those took place with a very young and green Josh Brugman's. Uh, I remember a couple of hunts, one where we shot a limit and and Deuce almost caught a limit. He caught a couple of birds, and we taught Josh a lot of things about life, um, probably a little sooner than he he probably should have uh, learned about, but. Uh, nonetheless, we had a lot of great times up there at D Roy's. One of the hunts that, or one of the, the things that most stick out to me out of all the memories that I have uh, uh, growing up with you in this industry is the, the Simon's Little Adventure, I call it. It took place, you, Ron Latchaw, uh, and I went over there and hunted with him and actually on a golf course. That's the first time I'd ever hunted a golf course, and I haven't hunted a golf course since. Everything about that hunt from start to finish felt like we were doing something wrong. We didn't have any blinds. We only had a couple of armful of decoys and we had the decoys out in the fairway and we were kind of hiding in between the fairways and there were pine trees and we were using them as our blind, actually a shield. And as the geese would come and they'd circle, we'd kind of shimmy around, around the pine trees to kind of keep them away from us. And we had shot several birds, a couple bands. Um, we had a spinner on the tee box behind us, shot a few ducks, shot a black duck, which was kind of cool. But while all this is going on, there's this car kind of going back and forth up on the road real slow and it'd stop and watch. Pretty soon an OPP car comes by real slow, then pulls into the groundskeeper's house. Then a second one pulls in to the groundskeeper's house and we kind of knew something was going on. Pretty soon on the megaphone, hunters, please report to the road, please report to the road. And Simon, you know how he is. He blew up. No, you guys stay here. Keep hunting. He takes off up to the road. Long story short, um, the OPP officer accused us of shooting Canada's national bird and trespassing. The groundskeeper's wife had to come out and explain to her that, no, we were actually shooting a nuisance bird that was causing havoc on the course. They had shut down nine of the 27 holes for us to hunt that day. So needless to say, the OPP officer got in her car and took off. But um, that hunt right there will stick with me forever. Many moons have come and gone in the 20 years since you started this business. Lots of call makers and other industry pros have come and gone, many of which have uh, been on your shirt tails. GK Calls has remained strong and prosperous in an ever-shrinking market. You've done this by staying true to your conviction and away from the mess. Bob, I consider you a true friend, even outside of the industry. And even though our paths don't cross as much as we'd like these days, I do know that we're on the same side of the fence and the ground. So as long as that remains the same, if there's anything you ever need, you know all we have to do is pick up the phone and call. Bob, congratulations, 20 years GK Calls. That's quite an accomplishment. Uh, you couldn't have done it without all the support and the group that you've got working for you. Uh, such a great group of people. Uh, I can't say enough about them either. Uh, one of my fondest memories of Bob uh, was at Stuttgart several years ago at the World Duck Calling Contest. Um, I want to say it was the Friday night before the contest. We all kind of went out. We had a good time. Uh, we get back to the old Super 8 Motel, and I put in a pinch of snuff, and Bob, you come up to me and said, uh, you know, Steiny, you know, I'd like to try that. 
So I hand Bob the can. Bob puts one in his lip. And Bob, I thought you were gonna get sick. You coughed, you hacked, you spit. Well, you didn't throw up, so that was always a plus. But uh, we laugh pretty hard at that. Uh, still laugh at it this day. Um, I got a picture of it somewhere. I'm gonna have to find it and send it to you. But uh, but anyway, congratulations, Bob. I look forward to uh, seeing what happens in the next 20 years with GK Calls. Congratulations, GK Calls, and 20 years in business. Uh... Thank you for being a big part of supporting me and making a lot of my dreams come true. And uh, here's to 20 more. Hey, Bob. Uh, first thing, I want to thank you personally for everything you've done for me over the years. It means so much. You'll never know. Secondly, I want to congratulate you on taking a small call company, a good call company, and making a great call company out of it. Uh, Hope to be your customer for seven more years. Take it easy, bud. See ya. Bye. Hey, Bob, your favorite DNR guy here. Just want to wish you or say to you congratulations on 20 awesome years with GK Calls. Great company. You're a great man. You've been great to me, great to the DNR. Awesome to Waterfall USA. Any of the youth waterfall events, you've always been one up above and beyond what you should do. Thanks for all your support over the years, and I wish you the best of luck over the next 50 years. Congratulations. Hey, Bob, Glenn, the entire GK staff. Congratulations on 20 years of GK greatness. Uh, back in 2003, 2004, whenever we met here at the Mississippi Valley Calling Classic, one of the best in the Midwest. You guys have been here every year, so that's how we met back in the day. It's been a fun ride. Hopefully there's many more to come. Thanks, Bob. See you in February, hopefully before. Bob, what's going on, man? Happy 20 years. Super happy for you. 20 years in business, that's something to be super proud of. And uh, you've been a great friend along the way. Can't thank you enough for the opportunities you gave me when I first got started. Never will forget it. Still to this day, some of the best advice you that I've ever gotten, you gave to me. And that was... Um, to practice your warm-up. As simple as that sounds, still today, I use that on a regular basis, getting ready for a contest. Doesn't always help me, but it, it gets your mind right. And uh, But uh, you guys, the whole GK family, y'all are like family, and I uh, truly cherish every one of y'all's friendships. So happy, happy 20th, and uh, keep on keeping on, man.